real life once. I had a wonderful girlfriend, Linda. Together we drove to a small cabin in the mountains. Necronomicon Ex Mortis, the book of the dead. It seems an archaeologist had come to this remote place to translate and study his latest find. It was never meant for the world of the living. The book awoke something dark in the woods. It took Linda. And then it came... for me. This island feels like it's maintained, untouched by time. The wind and the waves pause for a minute to rest, the calm before the storm. Achieved with CryEngine.
Hello everyone and welcome to our second premonition, a quick fire video that explains how the medium plays. Today we want to answer a question that a few of you have, which is what does a medium do? Hopefully this video is going to give you at least some of the answers. Our main character, Marianne, has quite attuned senses. Even in our real world, she can see, feel and sense things that other people wouldn't normally pick up on. These heightened senses help us see how the spirit world quietly influences our own or guides her intuition. Perhaps she might feel that an important object is located behind the wall or that she should look below the floor. Marianne can also sense energy or emotions emitting from certain physical objects. She can tune in to those objects and let them relive the events of the past through so-called echoes in her mind. Thanks to this power, she can gain an insight about a place or event that others normally wouldn't have access to. When Marianne crosses to the spirit world, she can also reveal small fragments of a soul frozen in a specific moment of time. And by experiencing those specific moments, Marianne can hear what the soul said or thought in that exact instant. Ah, sunflower weary of time, for my favorite nurse. Seeing events through this perspective, seeing what a soul went through, it can give Marianne an important hint or simply just more context to the whole situation. And finally, Marianne can communicate with the lost souls that are lingering in the spirit plane. <gasps> The medium spirit world is neither heaven, hell or limbo. It's a place that's really closely tied with our own reality, separated only by a very very thin veil, almost like a waiting room before you go to the afterlife. Now not everyone that dies ends up in here, however some souls who might have unfinished business in our world, some unresolved issues or who are simply not willing to let go, they can end up in this spirit plane. As a medium, you have the ability to help some of those spirits move on to the afterlife. And as you bring them peace and sever their connection to our world, you will also discover their secrets and the tales of the Nevis Hotel's terrible past. It's time for you to find peace. Bernard. Thank you. I hope that this video gave you a better idea of what it's like to live the life of a medium. Please, stay safe and we'll see each other really soon. You made it, Marianne. What? No! No!
Fully operational, sir. Excellent. Bring in the other subjects.